and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some mono black discard. Thought about calling this deck Davriel Discard, but decided just to go with Mono Black Discard. But this Tuesday Bruise Day deck is built around Davriel Rogue Shadow Mage. We got four copies of Davriel here. It's a three mana Planeswalker that just has minus one target player discards a card. Not super valuable, but if you can uh, pair up the if you can pair that up with a whole lot of other discard effects and just empty the opponent's hand you know, then they have nothing to do. They don't have any, any cards in hand. And of course, this also has at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep if they have one or fewer cards in hand, it deals two damage to them. So that damage will rack up pretty quickly. All right, so we got lots of discard in here. We got three duress. We got four vicious rumors. Deals one damage to the opponent. They have to discard a card, then put the top card of their library into the graveyard. Burglar app makes them discard a card. Whenever it ETBs, your Ox Fen Lurker makes them exile a card from their hand which is basically like discarding. And so we, we combine all those together. Like one individual make them discard a card is not super powerful, but you combine it with a second and now it's suddenly like your opponent's playing on a mold of five. Combine it with a third, you know, like they don't really have many cards in hand. And, you know, every, like these cards in standard are very powerful and, um, you know, they usually have like ETB effects, they they gain value, and so just being able to trade, you know, Vicious Rumors for any spell um, is usually pretty good. Of course, you know, sometimes you get extra lands, but still, the less land drops your opponent can play, because the less cards they have, you know, so that means the less land drops they can play. Um, <laughs> Hawkeye's up here, and he's smelling me. He's like, why do you smell like dog? <laughs> we just we just had Puppy up here a little bit ago. Um uh, but anyway, yeah, the less land drops that your opponent can play, the less powerful stuff that they can play also. Um, all right, so now we have to win the game somehow, though, right? So, like, we're going we're gonna, to, like, make them discard a whole bunch of things, but we have to win the game somehow. So first we got four Midnight Reapers, which this is my card advantage engine. Can, can you know, chump block with these creatures or trade away these creatures and get extra cards. Uh, Midnight Reaper is definitely a really important card here. And then my other really important card, and really my main way that, that we're going to be doing a whole, like... Uh, doing a lot of stuff with is this Rankle. I think Rankle is like the key to this deck. Uh, so basically, you know, as you know, it's 3 3 Flying Haste, so deals damage. Again, we can get more discard effects if we want. That trades, um, you know, both of our cards, uh, or like both of us have to discard a card, or we can each both draw a card, or we both sacrifice. So the, the both sacrifice would be good if we have like these one ones in play and they have like some other useful creature. But honestly, the dr have both of us draw a card is actually just a pretty important uh, clause. Because cards like Vicious Rumor, where you make your opponent discard or Davriel, Burglar, like if once your opponent doesn't have a hand anymore, then drawing a Vicious Rumors is not valuable at all because they don't have a hand. So you're like, what? Like, I don't then you're like, this card doesn't do anything. They don't have to discard a card anymore because they don't have any cards in hand. Or same with Davriel's Minus. But you can have Rankle uh, do the, the second part where each player loses a life and draws a card. Um, <laughs> Hawkeye's like, this deck's sweet. So you can have your opponent draw a card and then just have them discard the card immediately with your Davriel that's in play. And then it's basically just like you're just drawing the card because they just immediately have to discard the cards anyway. So we can kind of help turn on our discard effects later on in the game with Rankle making both of us draw cards. And um, and then uh, we have the uh, we have the 23 lands because we want to have a lot of spells. And I have one Bola Citadel at the top end, which it's pretty hard to play a six drop with 23 lands, but I'm hoping that Midnight, you know, playing four Midnight Reapers and also the Ayara, same kind of thing here. We can draw some extra cards with the Ayara. Hoping that can help us hit our land drops and get to Citadel. Um, cause then of course Citadel can just cast a ridiculous amount of cards off of it, especially when you don't have that many lands. One other spicy one in here, we got a spicy one of, of Scheming Symmetry. This one, choose tar two target players, each of them searches their library for a card, shuffles the library, then puts that card on top of it. There's going to be a couple of times where this is going to be awesome. If we have Scheming Symmetry with Vicious Rumors, that's the easy thing. You know, it's like we play Scheming Symmetry, put whatever we want on top of our library, Vicious Rumor does say the uh, <clears throat> the opponent has to put the top card of their library into their graveyard. So after I cast Scheming Symmetry, 
we just go Vicious Rumors and then mill over that card. Um, I can go this, I can do Scheming Symmetry and then Rankle. And um, Rankle have us both draw a card. Again, just like we were just talking about, have my opponent draw, like they have nothing in hand, then I cast Scheming Symmetry. Then, you know, hit with Rankle, we both draw, and then I make them discard it with Davriel or Burglar Rat or something like that. Um, so again, that's that's another way for Scheming Symmetry to not be a, a downside. And then finally, with Bolas of Citadel. If, if we have Bolas of Citadel, we'll just Scheming Symmetry and put Vicious Rumors on top, and then we'll just cast the Vicious Rumors on the top of our library with the, with the Citadel. Um, it does let us gain a life, so it costs nothing to cast this card. You lose life, then gain a life. Um, but then also it will mill over the opponent's top card that they go find. All right, so that's all the cool stuff that we can do here um, with our deck. Let's let's see how this works. Let's see if this uh, works out for us. Against the slower control decks, we got four more drill bits in the sideboard, so we got even more discard in the sideboard also um, against the slower control decks as well. Uh, but yeah, here we go. There's there's not that many there's not very many graveyard interaction decks out there. There's there are some, but there's it's not there's not a lot. So um Ashiok in the like so yeah, I don't think I don't think Ashiok is like a necessary main deck card, but it could be a sideboard card. Um Okay, Selesnia so Boggles. Okay. I got you, Thunderwonk. Cool. All right, so let's see how this goes. So four lander is like as many lands as, as we could possibly want uh, to start with. That's a good draw. Whoa, Zerf. Thank you, Zerf. Zerf's bringing the hype, getting us to our sub goal with five... Gifted subs there. What they discard? A Clarion. Ooh, looks like looks like the Mardu Enchantment deck they were playing the other day. I wish I could play Duress here, but I think it's just important to get Midnight Reaper in play. Like just mana wise, I want to just use my mana better. But yeah, we got some new subs. We got Nug. We got Arcanist. Irma Hamster, Storkster, Salika. Yes, yeah, looks like Mardu Enchantments. Cool deck. Oh, no. Boo. It's four color. Boo. Not cool. Went from cool to not cool real quick. Um... So yeah, this this would be a good matchup for Ashiok. The person that's talking about Ashiok in the sideboard there. My best draw would be that one Citadel. Rankle wouldn't be bad either. And my 23 land decks flooding out pretty bad. Unfortunately.
Awesome. Just finished work? Nice. And Zerf also just finished work. There you go. I just started work a little while ago. About two hours ago. This isn't a fight you can win. Don't worry. I got this. But my work's pretty enjoyable because of wonderful people like y'all. Does it work if you love what you do? That's what they say. It's if you love what you do, you don't you don't work a day in your life. <laughs> I should probably keep working, but that's what tomorrow is for. Yep. <laughs> I'll right, we'll just pu pump up the Fen Lurker a couple of times. Unfortunately, I'm one short of having lethal next turn. But of course, not really because the golden eggs. Yeah, hey, Sir Uckles, we're first game here of Mono Black. We've drawn 9 of our 21 lands in 18 cards. That's not spectacular. That's where we are. They're back up to 19. It's just so much life. Citadel would be awesome. That'd be a great draw. My opponent's just trying to find another dance. I don't like that scry at the top. And this is this is the type of game like I talked about, like why wrinkle could be so important also. Yeah, because with no cards in hand, the discard like how you're saying the discard effect is weak late in the game with no cards in hand, but wrinkle makes our opponent draw a card. Also we get to draw an extra card, and then we can make them discard it with something like Burglar Rap. All right, GG. Looks like they found dance. Yeah, the only red card that we saw was Clarion. That was the only card that we, the red card that we saw. This is obviously this is just the most important Ashiok matchup. But I don't got no Ashiyaks.
I did a good job of drawing Midnight Reapers. But unfortunately, they did a just a good job of killing Midnight Reapers before Sweepers. Though, also... No, I'm not going to have Legion's End for Globes in it. Because that would only work after they play Dance and bring back a bunch of Globes, and then I could Legion's End them. Like, that's... At that point, I'm going to lose. That's what I, I'm trying to, like, keep them off of having being able to hit all those land drops and everything, but... I don't know. I, want, I have Cry the Canarium because of... Yeah, I have that over a soot because of um, Cauldron Familiar and Witch's Oven. But, you know, like Cauldron Familiar, I, need, I would need to exile that card. So just make, you know, they could just ease. That's a card they get to easily discard. Perfect draw. So do I want to go a Yara or Midnight Reaper? What would I rather than Othakaya? I guess I'd rather than both Akai or the Midnight Reaper. I'm not I'm not sure how difficult it is to hit 110 on mastery. It's you know it's something that's like capped each day. I'm I'm very confident that I'll be able to get to one to the full mastery level by just by how I've been playing every day. I'm I'm very confident in that. Yeah, Sir Eccles, what's your Abzan deck? Did you... Oh, like this this Abzan midrange from... Okay, I, I see it from October 1st. Did you donate for that? And I, and it was supposed to be a donation deck, and I just missed it. I was actually going to be lethal there that turn because you know we'd make them lose a life with with Rankle. So that was like a perfect hand for us. That was honestly like a perfect hand. We had turn one vicious rumors. We had rumors into Fenlurker, into Reaper, into a Yara, into rumors plus Rankle. And lethal there. Oh, we also we had duress Ayara and then rumors rankle. Wow, that was 
that was honestly just a perfect hand. That could not have been better. All right, so we did see Outlaw's Merriment. That's going to be a problem. All right, mono black discard. Yeah, our our deck cannot like that's that was pretty perfect. Maybe you could argue like one of my three drops being a Davriel like instead of a Yara. Okay, got the got those for before. Okay. Okay, I got you, Sir Eccles. Okay. No worries there. I'll just do discard. Like, they're going to be just getting rid of a land, so I'll just do discard instead of exile. Right now. I'm glad we have the castle. So that was the thing about drawing nine lands that game one. I didn't have, I didn't even have a castle out of any of my lands. <laughs> nice. You played Abzan Wolf last night. You ran into the mirror. Awesome. That's a good one. I'll just be paying for life to draw a card here. This is what our, our deck does. It just it just makes their deck worse. You know, even though like my cards weren't super powerful or anything, just you know, they got rid of a land because they didn't want to get rid of a spell, and now suddenly they don't they don't have the ability to play their cards. No, Deckmaster is not working. I guess with having uh, with having Citadel, maybe I shouldn't pay for life to draw a card here. Ugh, that hurts. Hmm. No, I'm going to. It's better to wait where you can still have your land drop after you play Citadel.
Of course, I have to worry about my life total here. I at least get to always play a land off the top. Yeah, a Yara would be nice. Mm. I just can't really play that. I can't really play another creature either because I, I would die to a sweeper if I play another creature. Like if I play the burglar rap. This this does six damage to me. Right now. Alright, so they're at thirteen. Can I do thirteen damage to them? Three, six, nine. Seven, eight, nine. So I can activate once. So that's ten. Rankle draw, lose a life is eleven. So no, I cannot kill my opponent. Because they're at thirteen. So again, I don't want to just die to a, a wrath. So I'm not playing another creature. I am not going to sit this one out. So bounce Othakaya. That's more like it. All right, so that's game. <laughs> All right, mono black discard. Want to know? This is a pretty sweet deck here. It's fun to play. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the uh, the Othakaya didn't help do damage. You know, deal three, gain three. So yeah, they missed the lethal on themselves. All right, what we got? Mm, slow hand here, triple three drop and a four drop. I don't love that. Basically, I, I like I like these first four cards, and I also kind of like rankle. I don't like having the two riders. Does that mean we mulligan? I mean, I I would I would rather like if I could, I would trade the two riders for a land, or like trade a rider plus a rankle for a land. Ooh, my opponent's mulliganing. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna send this back. Cause like if we don't hit land drops, that's gonna be kind of a problem. Uh eh, maybe I shouldn't send it back. 
No, all right, we'll keep. If we don't hit land drops, we're probably drawing our one and two mana discard stuff, which is good. This is It's kind of like we're playing eight rack and modern, basically, where my opponent mulliganing is very good for us. Ah, oh, they only mulligan once. It make, that's another way that just makes our cards better. Oh, gosh, what a terrible draw, especially against Castle Vantress. Ugh, can I mulligan now? That is the, the single worst card in my deck. There's two copies of those. And then our next worst card with the Murderous Rider. Those are our two worst possible draws. Yay. My first... Got punished for not mulliganing. I definitely wanted to. This is hardly my worst defeat. I don't know. It's a pretty bad defeat. Getting exiled by a Fenlurker. I know my responsibility. Let's try this. Time for plan B. Land. I've got it. Only time will tell. All right, so they have a fires, but they don't really have cards. We found a use for these extra for these cards I don't want. Oh, they played the beacon instead of playing the steam vents, where steam vents would have let them scry. Oh, but got bailed out by drawn from dreams. Bailed out. Don't uh, don't play a sweeper. Let me play the midnight reaper first. Yeah, discard deck's going good so far. We are 1-0. and And game one's pretty close. They have a fire, so they're they're good with that. Ooh, that's a good draw. I do hope this mark. That was a really good draw. A terrific thing to waste. Loneliness can hurt. Stand by and yeah, my opponent played a beacon instead of playing the steam vents that would have gave them the double blue for castle. Empty your mind. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, not really. I'll yeah, same list from the other day for the Mardu enchantments, and that's that's like if, if we have time uh, for that one. But yeah, same list. We will meet again. Struggling. Good. All right. Hoping Davriel can finish this out. They haven't drawn a land in forever. One, two. So they. One. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's six straight spells. They've drawn. They were empty handed with this, then. Uh, drawn from Dreams. All I've left drawn, and then. Head. Which got those two cards, and then Clarion, Ugin, Clarion, Teferi, Clarion were their last six. So they're kind of due to draw a land, getting six spells in a row. And obviously, a land means that we have finished this out, and that's probably what happened. GG's. All right, so let's get Duress and Drillbit in here. Legion's End out. Rider out. Let's go. <laughs> Stop bullying the control players. Yeah, this deck's pretty sweet against the control players. Control players want to have cards in hand, and we're like, no. You can't have cards in hand. They need to keep the riders. Well, I have one rider. I have one. We gotta keep him to kill Sarkins. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. We can attack. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. It's a good thing we're up a game. If we need to adapt for game three, we will. I like my opponent just not drawing Sarkin. And or playing Sarkin, personally. That's what I like that's what I would like the most. Man, this hand would be so cool if we had two lands. Man, this hand would be so cool if we had two lands. Yeah, Storm, I have... Uh, yeah, Storm, if you have if you have one like really good at Brawl deck that you want me to play, let me know. I have two Brawl decks right now on the docket from KYSG for tomorrow. But if you got something super sweet that you really want to see. Yeah, we have to draw lands, right? Oh, scry to top, scry to top. Come on, you know you want that card. You know it's a great card. Scry to the top. No. We have the anti temple card. See, we got Murderous Rider. We got we got Planeswalker removal. And all the Fey of Wishes. Yeah, I think the Marty list um I think it's okay. Um, maybe not quite as good as, like, the Orzhov Troll Knights we played recently. Thanks, James. Thanks for the, the luck there. My best play is playing a Yara here, but then if they have Clarion, that would be bad. 
But my best, my best play is playing a Yara this turn, and then next turn going dubs these. I'll just go with the rat. It'll make it harder for them to go, like, fourth land fires or fourth land drawn from dreams or something like that. I think Fenlurker is more valuable than the rat. And so if they're going to be killing stuff with Clarion, I would rather... I'd rather the rat die than the Fenlurker die. So when you're like, why am I playing rat over Fenlurker? Ugh, that's annoying. Hmm. Dealing with you would be easier. Ugh, what a whiner. Is that somebody who really likes to enjoy grape beverages? I do not miss this violence. A whiner. Pretty sure that's that's what that is. Too many unreliable variable. Down to six. Lonely so now I have to kill the Fey before the Fey kills the Davriel. Well, if they attack, they, they're just dead on board. They can't attack. Ooh, sorry. Damn, real sweet. Yeah, not really. The past, present, and future hone your prowess. So I have to have a land and planar cleansing. In this one card. <laughs> this deck is awesome. My opponents are probably not too happy losing to this deck. Yeah, our, my opponent's not really playing creatures. It's definitely good for these Davriels. Oh, I was going to do one damage with Vicious Rumors. One damage. Boom. That have been a good way to deal damage. Yeah, Sultai Flash. Yeah, that's definitely an option. The The mana base is kind of rough for Sultai Flash. Uh, that's, that's like the worst part about it. But yeah, Blacklands Paragon taking their place of, yeah, Dire Fleet Poisoner. That's a, that's a, yeah, that's a really good card for Sultai Flash for sure. I like some uh, Blacklands Paragon. Um, so yeah, as long as the mana works, Sultai Flash has a lot of good stuff because you get to play Noxious Grasps and everything. Um, I've been dis I've been disappointed with <sighs> what's the name of the card? Um, I can't even think of the name of the card. The Drown in the Lock. I've been disappointed with Drown in the Lock. In the flash deck. Um, Sorcerer Spyglass and Oko Thief of Crowns are the two cards that are banned in Brawl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My opponent's like, I concede. And I'm like, in response...
It's pretty hard to have a big Hydro Crisis when you don't have cards. Let me pick your brain. Why did I just play this last turn? Did I not have that card in my hand last turn? Or did I and I just didn't play it? Good. Yeah, I just drew the swamp. Why didn't I just play that last turn instead of the rat? Yeah, Dread Presence is the card that does stuff when you play a Swamp. Alright, we got the Simic deck. Game 1. They were they were Sultai, right? I assume they were Sultai. So I feel like we're supposed to play these Grasps. Um... I'm going to trim in a Yara and Duress. Yeah. I don't think I need the Elder Spells. I don't think I want that much Planeswalker removal. I already have four Grasp. Like, I just put in four Grasp, and I already have the four Murderous Rider also. Um, I think that's good enough for Planeswalker removal. I don't think I need Elder Spell also. Yeah, we haven't seen that spicy uh, scheming symmetry yet. Love it. Mulligan on the play. to order 20. Rude. This deck seems weak to aggro. Yeah, yeah, there isn't really much aggro. And... We still have, like, these 1-1s one that get to block and, you know, we get rid of cards in their hand and stuff. I should minus Davriel first. I should not give them the information about this Midnight Reaper being played. Huh. I only can 
I'll carve it. I won't forgive this. This wasn't part of our contract. I really hope they don't elk the wrinkle. I hope they just make it a food. Make a food. Gross. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. <sighs> it seems fortune favors you. Fine. Remain blind. I could have got rid of the last card in their hand, which might have been the Wicked Wolf, but then, then my Davriel would have died. Maybe I should have done that. Make this quick. Perish the thought. All I've left you is pain. I don't know. Nah, I should just play the writer. Ugh, I basically didn't want them to have four mana, right. but if they just draw Oko, I'm going to feel bad. Alright, did not draw Oko. Alright, 3 0. But I thought, like, destroying one of their lands with the. They just have three lands. That's basically the only thing that my opponent could have really punished me with is drawing an Oko right there. Model black discard is sweet. <laughs> this is just the anti metagame deck here. Why'd you give them the choice to attack with the wolf? Um, I mean, I guess I, I could have killed the, like, what'd you, did you want me to like kill the wolf on my turn? The reason the reason why I didn't want to kill the wolf on my turn is because I wanted them to be able to I wanted them to attack with the wolf and the paradise druid to try to attack with both of those to kill the Davriel. And if they do that, then I kill the wolf with the with the swift end and get to eat the paradise druid with my three three. That's what I was hoping to do, and then my Davriel would still stay alive. Yeah, it's a good way to shut down Hydroid Crisis. Just get rid of their resources. They can't hit land drops. Then they can't, you know, their cards aren't going to be as good if they don't have land drops. All right, opponent's on a mold of five. Usually good for my deck, but I only have one discard thing right now. All right, we'll see how good we are against aggro for those of y'all saying that my deck's weak to aggro. We'll see. Alright, got rid of a Bone Crusher Giant. It's a good one. Hmm. Robber of the Rich is nice.
It's nice in exile, that is. So Yara's perfect. That was good. What's up, CV Sack? Thanks for that resub. Our 11th sub of the day. Let's see, let's go. Basically, do I want to all out attack or like do I want to sac have a Yara sacrifice or do I just want to all out attack? I think I want to just all out attack. Put them down to nine. We got the Davriel here now. Loneliness can and of course, the I can be I can activate these your rocks and everything also. Hmm. Two three two three life link. It's too big. Too big. Wow. Not even caring. So I don't want to just draw right now, because if they attack with Murderous Rider, then they gain they would gain two life. I want to be able to block. I want to be able to block and sack if they attack with Murderous Rider. I don't want them just be able to gain the two life. That's a lot of life loss. I'll just go to my turn. Let's tidy up in there. I mean, I have lethal on on board no matter what. I could just attack with, like, my other creatures. Also, whichever one they block, I sacrifice. Like, I could just attack with the two Fenlurkers. Whichever one they block, I sacrifice. I pump the other one up to three and do three to them. And then and then Davriel does the extra two. So with them being at five and not attacking, not trying to gain life or anything, I just have lethal on board. Also... Yeah, if it was a Gruul aggro, we'd have all these Noxious Grasps, but Rakdos, I don't have a whole lot of removal, so we got Cry and a couple more Legion's End, so something like Rankle can be problematic. Um, I 
We're gonna get rid of the citadel, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna cut a land also. You just have everything cost three. Yeah, I think Vicious Rumors is pretty essential to this deck. No, Rankle's awesome. Rankle's never getting cut ever against anything. Um, yeah, it's Rankle's a huge part of my. It's. It's a, yeah, just a huge part of the top end of the deck. Just every every mode that it does is really important in every matchup. My opponent's just trolling me now. Thank you, Storm. Yeah, Deckmaster's not working. We each discard a card. Darn. This is just my best play, just getting rid of the rest of their hands. I'm going to be doing that this next turn with the wrinkle. They did not say each person draw. A little surprising. Now I can do, we both sacrifice. And it's just a lot better for me. I get to keep this rankle around. Yeah, make the sacrifice a lot better. Clearing out my lands. Ugh. Mega boo. Hmm. 
I don't love just playing Swift End to kill the robber. I don't love just playing Midnight Reaper, though, either. Basically, don't love my options. Guess I'm just gonna Swift End. Hey, Sanctuary Tank. Thank you so much there. For re seven for eight months now. Don't be a bone crusher giant. Gross. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? Happy Tuesday. We got a sweet one here with mono black discard. much life. It's fine. We're dead to everything. Can't have any fear though. Gotta try to win the game. This is my best play at winning the game, pressuring their life, not letting them castle. Uh, no, my opponent did not have lethal this turn. Because I just blocked Bone Crusher Giant and Knight of the Ebon Legion. They deal one damage to me. I gain two life with Murderous Rider and I take two. Because of the Murderous Rider lifelink. I'm getting Duress out of my hand for Castle. It 
If my opponent takes it, they don't get to activate castle. If they block with Knight of the Ebon Legion, they don't get to activate castle. So either way, this is this is this attack gets the Midnight Reaper off the battlefield for me. It means my opponent doesn't draw a card here. It gives me a card to draw. It's not a good card to draw. I can't really stop them from drawing a card with castle. Bone Crusher Giant's just awesome. Their castle, also awesome. That castle gave my opponent a lot of cards. That turn after we played Rankle, when they when they ripped Lava Coil the very next turn when they had no hand, and they like they can't have too many removal spells for Rankle, but drawing that that Lava Coil immediately that was that was a really big game. Okay, game number three. I don't think I want to change anything up. We're going to hope to uh, get a little bit more ahead on the play and everything. Hate having four three drops. No, Duress is not great in the matchup, but I don't have anything else in my sideboard that I'd rather play than it. But no, this is... Ideally, I would have something better than Duress, but I don't. It's not, it's not like it's a dead card or anything. Thanks, Janini. Yeah, I have the other Murderous Riders from the Oko's Madness event. I like these ones a little bit more. I like... Um, I like my cards matching. All right, we're going to draw our third land. All right, good job, Fenlurker. You got two for one. Nope.
Wow, not even killing the burglar rat. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not confident that drill bit will be turned on. No one say like I could play drill bit instead. Is a terrific thing to waste. I'm worried about drill bit being, uh, about it being turned on and just being one man instead of three. I'm already, I'm already kind of too full on the three mana slot as is. Ugh, that was a good draw for them with the land. Okay, well, I, I didn't get the land for... But, you know, if that's just a spell... Then I can make them discard it either with Rankle or Davriel. But land... Like, they need the they need the lands with Theater and everything. No, Tesla, they don't they don't talk about that kind of stuff at all. Um, I would assume so how much money buying the alternate art stuff goes to the creators, I would assume zero dollars of that does. Hmm. I guess this is just another creature that we need to kill. What a whiner. The best color combo is Simic, blue and green. And currently in standard. Yeah, Davriel's been awesome in our deck for sure. What's up, Rogobop? Yeah, Davriel's been been really good. This is why I wear the mask. Loneliness can hurt. That's our uh 13th of the day. Thanks for resubbing there, Rogobop. You draw land. There we go. All right, GGs. Yeah, if. So the reason why I didn't sacrifice a goat because if my opponent attacked, I had lethal. I guess I needed a land. I don't know. They were like really dead if they attacked. So I didn't worry about sacrificing there. <laughs> Not attacking with all. Sorry. All right, we're 4-0. It's final boss time. Let's get that final boss playlist. Yeah, I did not want to give my opponent the life. I didn't want to let them gain three life with, with sacrificing a goat. Exactly. This deck's sweet. Uh, you only have one wrinkle. Oh yeah, wrinkle is definitely the like a key card in this deck for sure.
<laughs> All right, here we go. Can we get the 5-0 with mono black discard? We've beaten some good decks, too. We beat So, you know, we just beat Rakdos Aggro, but then we beat uh, Soul Typhoon, the best deck in the format. And before that, we beat um, Jeskai Fires and... What was the other... We, we beat two control decks. One of them was Jeskai Fires. What was the other one? Oh, it was Four Color, four color Dance. Four Color Doom Foretold. Splashing Red for Merry Mint and Clarion. Spell Pierce. Ooh, the flash deck. Flash deck's going to be tough. <laughs> the worst final boss. We got a good hand, though. Battle of, like, the little 1-1s. One -ones. If my opponent doesn't draw lands, we're golden. They miss, miss a land drop here. It's going to be difficult to play this Ambusher. They need two green sources, with them not fetching a green source there. Gross. Yes. Sinister sabotage that or discard something. There goes the ambusher. Dude, these vicious offerings have been so good. Look how good that vicious offering was. Just getting rid of an ambusher. Yeah, the Vicious Offering and the Davriels have been two really impressive cards for us. Legion's End is the most important card for me to resolve, I think. I think getting rid of the Spectral Sailor is really important. Already gotten three counters. This is the final boss fight from Final Fantasy IV. And it's it's not that. Going with the Midnight Reaper here. So if we draw a land, I can double spell.
ambush her down. Black Lance Paragon. That's such a good card to win a race. That's a good one. A bad turn. Yeah, the Citadel is just going to have to go. Unfortunately, like my my only removal for this brazen borrower is murderous rider, and now my life total is too low. Looks like my opponent's gonna have this one. Ugh, brazen borrower, too good. Okay. I draw... I have to draw a creature that I can play here. Creature? No. Mm. No, Legion's head. <laughs> or another vicious offering would have done it. Yeah, Brazen Borrower, that's a tough one. That's one that I don't have a great answer to. So this is 64. The problem is they don't have, they don't really have as many spells as you would think for Duress. All right, I'm going to try this. I'm playing Legion's End because I think that aggro is a little tough for us. And so I wanted a good two-mana removal spell like that um, in the main deck. 
It's kind of just the best two mana removal spell right now. We have Brazen Borrower. It's three CMC. Yeah, Disfigure would work. I do think Disfigure is a, a pretty decent card in this deck. Um, I think it's a, it's a little narrow of an application, but, you know, obviously against Brazen Borrower, Disfigure would be awesome. But I, I don't know, I just wasn't really considering Brazen Borrower too much. I really like the the Exile with the Legion's End when, we're, when we have stuff like um, Edgewall Innkeeper with, like, the with the the um, order of midnight that keeps that brings it back and we have cauldrons familiar um and you know dread horde butcher and all that kind of stuff i, I really like legion's end but yeah I, against brazen borrower i wish it was disfigure I wouldn't really mind if they bounce it with Borrower, so I get to just play it again and make them exile another card. They didn't play. They didn't play an untapped land to be able to brazen borrower there. Hey Triton. Huh. I think they're kind of messing up with their lands. Yeah, they could have done that first, and then they would have the three mana for Borrower. That's going to help us out. Spectral Sailor is a little annoying here. So yeah, now now my drill bit doesn't do anything. It's definitely helping they add another, you know, just some other card in hand. Like even if the even if their other hand their other card was just a land, I I would have drill bit first to take the frilled mystic and then make them discard. But now they have the spectral sailor that can draw them cards. It's so like I kind of have to kill the Spectral Sailor, but then I don't have removal for Borrower. So this is this is rough. Hmm. This is really rough. Yeah, Borrower can't draw cards, but Borrower can outrace me. That Spectral Sailor was just really good.
That thing can't block. So I have six mana. So if I play Davriel, I only have three mana left. So I can't activate Castle also. So I probably should just activate this Fen Lurker, but this does mean that Davriel gets countered by Quench now. So that's the problem with that's the problem with doing the Davriel second, but because of because of Frilled Mystic, I'm supposed to do Davriel second. But now I'm risking it getting countered by Quench. The mask is scary, but underneath I'm just a normal diabolist. Let me pick your brains. Nice, you're doing great with this deck and best of one. Good. Ooh, you could have just sorry. played Veil of Summer <laughs> and cycled it instead of just discarding it. Time to run again. They have to block Fenlurker. Yep. So we should have this. We're at 21, they're at 1. We have 4 creatures they can't block. So can we win on the draw? Everybody knows that how, how much better Simic Flash is on the play. So now Simic Flash gets to be on the play. Can we still win on the draw? Uh, Duress does look better. I didn't really consider Veil of Summer too much. So yeah, with them having Veil of Summer also... And, and us being slower because we're on the draw. We want um, cheap things that we can catch up. We don't want everything costing three still. So let's, let's take out an Ayara for a Duress. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, flash with veil. That is disgusting. Yeah, that is true. Our deck is our deck is actually kind of fine on the draw anyway because it's it's one less card for our opponent, one more card for me. Kind of thing. Like opponents on the draw have that extra card, which makes it a little bit harder to discard their hand. Ugh. Why can't we just have a reasonable one? This is better than five, I guess. Well, looks like looks like this could be it for the home team here. Looks like we may need to use our extra life. Is that card so good? So for my opponent to... <laughs> for 
I'm gonna have to go to discard. Could be pretty tough. I assume this is getting Veil of Summered. Ooh, it didn't. Interesting. It's possible they don't even have a spell. Never mind, not possible. They have spells. Surrender now, I'll still have time for tea. Empty your mind. Struggling? Good. All right, do we get do we get that land? So the problem with just passing that last turn is if I, if I just pass to hold up Murderous Rider for Ambusher, then if they just play Blacklands Paragon, I just can't really do anything. Oh, come on. Drill bits. Why can't you just be something that costs a reasonable amount of mana? Ugh, that hurts so much. All right, well... I guess I should have just passed with Murderous Rider, I guess. This didn't work. That's sad. Over. I just didn't have a good play there. I mean, I guess I guess I should have just jammed Rankle. Maybe they have to counter Rankle. So I was hoping they were going to counter the Davriel. Ugh. That was just tough. It's the problem with having all the things that cost three. That's why I need to have stuff like Duress in there. Oh well. All right, we we got our first loss. It took us mulliganing and having three lands and three expensive spells for my opening hand. So not a good mulligan. But we got our first loss. What black spells do they play? Um uh, Black Lance Paragon, and assume that they would have like Noct they'd have Noxious Grasp for the green decks as well. Man, this hand's really ugly too. I guess I have to keep it. I 
Oh, GG's, Envy. GG's. Yuck, another disgusting game for us. This looks to be Teamer Reclamation. Where Murderous Rider is not going to be very good. Basically everything in our hands is not going to be very good. Good. They don't have chemistry's in sight. That's a good sign. I'm keeping the I'm keeping the lands to try to get to Citadel. They don't have the, the card advantage stuff like inside. That's awesome for us. Good, evil, I perish the thought. Hollow Knight music. All I've left you is pain. I use Spotify for music. Oh, it's okay, Envy. It's okay. No, it's good. I didn't. I didn't really get land screwed. No, I just had. I just had a bad mulligan with just too many top end cards. That happens. Cool. Okay, so this is the plan. Yep, this looks like the plan. Just doing the same thing we did against the other control decks earlier. I was going to make them discard their hands, and so I guess, I guess that was good enough for our opponent. I was about to play the Citadel. Okay, third land would be really good. Where we get turn two Fenlurker. Yeah. And then turn three Fenlurker plus Drill Bid if we hit him for one with this other Fenlurker. What? Um. I still just do my thing. I'm kind of just turning on their shock. Here, they, they didn't play a land... So the, I could have just passed, and if they don't draw a land, they just have to move to discard anyway. And so it's possible I'm just not getting any value with this discard, where they would have just moved to discard anyway. And that if they have shock, I'm like turning on shock as like an, another card to get out of their hands, so they don't have to discard. Yeah, so this this play could end up being bad for me. 
Mm. Yeah, I don't know why they, they just kept a one lander, but... Oh well. It's possible they meant to click mulligan and accidentally click, clicked keep. That can happen. Vicious Rumors does a good job turning on drill bit, but... Um, we'll just play our spells. All right, there we go. And five and one. Boom. Good league here for mono black discard. Lost one close one. Won a bunch of ones that weren't so close. Um, the card that we struggled with more than any, I guess, if we struggle, if we struggled with something, it was probably it was the brazen borrower being that three one in the air. Um, there's that that you know the game one against Flash. I just just couldn't quite deal with the brazen borrower. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess we were like one creature draw away. Like if we would have, yeah, remember that very last turn that we died when we were at three life and we had a Yara in play, if we would have drawn a creature off the sacrifice, we would have gone up to four and stayed alive for another turn and won that race. So we were really close to going five Oh, they're really close. Um, so I could see playing dis dis uh, figure. I think that the card that I, the card that we probably don't need in here, honestly, is probably the Elder Spells. I think just kind of playing this, I think we don't really need Elder Spell. Unless we would need Elder Spell for like Planeswalker decks that, that have Planeswalkers that don't die to Noxious Grass, but I don't think that's really a thing. So I think what I would do is I would take out those Elder Spells and play a couple disfigures for other aggro decks help out the aggro matchup um and then yeah that, that could be something for brazen borrower but then just also a lot a uh, whole bunch of other aggro cards um it's also it doesn't get rid of mayhem devil though so that is a card you know like i this would give me four legions ends and two disfigures so that's like that's just nothing for you know, a 3-3 besides these Murderous Riders and and Wrinkles and stuff. So, like, maybe one, maybe one Epic Downfall. Maybe one Disfigure, one Epic Downfall. There's just not a very good versatile two-mana removal spell that kills a whole bunch of stuff. Basically, um, yeah, Omnixilus costs five mana. I'm not. I'm not interested in playing a five mana card. Oh, I like keeping this low to the ground. Um, Omnixilus cruelty costs three, and everything else costs three. I'm not interested in playing that either. Whatever removal spells I'm playing are going to cost one or two mana. I'm not interested in playing more three drops. That's we're we're really maxing out on the number of threes that we can possibly play. So I'm I'm not in, I'm not going to play anything that costs three or more mana. I'm just not interested at all. Um. But yeah, that yeah. Let's go with the disfigures because that's true. Disfigure can pair up with like cry the canarium to take down something big, or it could just pair up with like blocking with you know block with a one one and plus disfigure. For like a mayhem devil or something like that. Necrotic wound. No, that's just not reliable. It's just not reliable. Triumph just makes them sacrifice a creature. No, I'd rather just have disfigure. figure. 
that's true. We have Legion's End for small creatures, but now we have Disfigure as well. So against... It gives me something for Brazen Borrower. I really like that. Something really cheap. But then it's also just good against, um, you know, uh, Gilded Goose also and just a lot of stuff. I think that... I think our deck could definitely use more early removal for the for the aggro decks anyway. But yeah, that's that's a slot to, to kind of play around with. I think Elder Spell is, is kind of unnecessary. I think that's just extra. So that's a couple of sideboard slots there. But about our deck... Um, no, not, not interested in Spark Harvest. Um, about our deck, uh, I don't want to sacrifice something with that. This this worked really well. Vicious Rumor, two two cards that were super impressive were Vicious Rumors and Davriel. Both of these cards worked really well. So yeah, building around Davriel, this shell, it worked. Um, you know, we emptied our opponent's hand really fast with Vicious Rumors and Burglar Rats and Fen Lurkers and everything. Um, and then our, our Davriels got to stick around um rankle was was definitely clutch we didn't have rankle a ton but it was awesome every time we had it and we could play it um just all three modes here are just so valuable it's definitely an awesome rankle deck but yeah we, we faced a lot of control decks you know we faced what three control decks um we beat uh sultai food we lost a sultai flash and then we also beat a Rakdos deck and so the there is a lot of control decks in the format. Is that's how people are trying to go over the top of Oko. People aren't really going underneath. There's not nearly as much aggro, and so I think that's a makes a deck like this a good choice against all the control decks with uh, all these discard effects. It was pretty nice. I think I liked Citadel enough to keep Citadel. I thought about playing uh, li playing a Liliana in that slot also. Just playing like one Liliana at the top end. Thought about playing one Doom Whisperer in that slot. But I think I think I like Citadel the most. But that could be another just a, a different top end card for plus mana. This could be like one Dread Presence. Um yeah, Dread Presence, a Doom Whisperer, a Liliana, an Ugin, a Command the Dread Horde. There's a, a lot of options, but I, I think you can have like one top end card like this. We never drew Scheming Symmetry, unfortunately. Never got to do anything cool with this. We never drew it. I sideboarded out against the two aggro decks. I kept it in against all the control decks, but we just never drew it. Um, all right, so that's that's it. There we go. That's Mono Black Discard. Um, so if you are uh, watching the video later on YouTube, there's the link to the deck. If you're watching the video later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave some comments. Um, let me know what you thought about the deck, if you, what you'd want to do with the Bola Citadel slot, if you like Citadel, uh, you know, those two sideboard slots, like I was saying. And it, also, if you're playing this deck um, at home, leave, leave some comments. Let me know how it's going. How are you doing with it? Are you, what are you beating? What are you struggling with? And all that kind of stuff. All right, uh, that's it here for Mono Black Discard, though. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.